Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at setting up some algebraic word problems. So here's the first one. The length of a rectangular field is 10 meters less than 9 times the width. The perimeter is 140 meters. Find the length. Well, this problem deals with perimeter. So we need to know what our perimeter formula is for a rectangle. So let's first draw a picture of a rectangle. Our perimeter is when we add all the sides up. So we have 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, and that equals our perimeter. So now let's try to label our picture. The length uh, of the rectangular field is 9 meters less. So we're going to subtract, or I'm sorry, 10 meters less. So we're going to subtract 10 from something from 9 times the width. We don't know the width, so let's call it W. And then the length, notice I'm going to kind of cross out some words here. The length. Length, right, is, and math is equals, 10 meters less, so I'm going to subtract 10 from what? 9 times the width, or 9W. And that represents the length. So this length is going to be 9W minus 10. Okay, so now let's plug in what we know. We know we have to take two of these lengths and two of these widths, and it's going to equal our perimeter, where our perimeter is given to us. It is 140 meters. So let's pl plug in 140 here, and let's take two times this length, which is 9W minus 10, plus two times our width, well that's just 2W. And let's simplify all this so we can solve it. So I'm going to distribute this 2 into my parentheses. So 2 times 9 is 18w. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. Then I'm just going to bring down my 2w at the back. And I'm going to bring down my 140. Okay, now let's add our like terms. So over here on the right side, we can add 18w and 2w to get 20w. Then we're going to bring down the minus 20 and the 140. Now we need to get the w by itself to solve. So we're going to add 20 to both sides so we can isolate that w and that gives us 160 is equal to these cancel out 20w Divide both sides by the coefficient in front of the variable. We've got to divide by the 20. Divide by the 20. So we get basically 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So our width is 8, and that tells us how wide it is. So our width is 8, and then we need to know our length, though. Notice the question at the back. It's asking us to find the, the length. Well, the length is... Uh, 10 less than 9 times. So 9 times 8 is 72. And then we have to do 10 less than that, so that makes it 62. And remember, this is a word problem, so we want to add our units. And this was all given to us in meters, so we have to add meters to the back end. And that's how you'd find the length. Now, let's look at a second one. Okay, this is just a number problem. It's not a perimeter, so it's just a word problem. So let's see what we can do with this one. If 7 less than 4 times the number is 29, find the number. Okay, so we don't know the number. So let's say the number is n. Okay, so n represents our number. 7 less than a number. So this number is our n value times 4, so times 4, so 4 times that number is 4n. But we have to take 7 less than that. Well, when we take 7 less, that's when we're subtracting 7. So we're going to subtract 7 from that in math. Is is equal, and then 29. So there's our equation. 4n minus 7 equals 29. Now let's solve for n. Let's add 7 to both sides so we can get our constants together. And that gives us 4n is equal to 36. Divide both sides by 4, and n is 9. So our number is 9, and that's our answer to this one. Okay, let's throw in another rectangle problem. 
Here is one. It says a rectangle has a length that is four meters more than the width. The perimeter is 148 meters. Find the length. Okay, so let's draw our picture. We have a rectangle. The length, which is the longer side, is, is four more. So we're going to add four to something. What are we adding four to? We're adding four to the width. So it's just W plus four. That means this side over here must be W. And then the perimeter is 184. So let's go back. The first problem we did was a perimeter problem. To find the perimeter, we take 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, and that gives us our perimeter. When you add all four sides up, that's two lengths and two widths. Now let's plug in what we know. What do we know the perimeter is? Well, the perimeter is 184 meters. 2 times the length would be 2 times w plus 4. So let's, for this L, we're going to put in w plus 4 plus 2 widths. Now we just need to solve it. So now let's put it together and distribute our 2 in. So when I distribute my 2 in, I'm going to get 2w plus 8, bring down the plus 2, and bring down the 184. Now let's add our like terms. So we got a 2w and a 2w. That makes it 4w plus 8 is equal to 184. Now we need to get this w by itself. So let's subtract 8, subtract 8. And let's see, that's 176 is equal to 4w. And then we want to divide by 4. Okay, when we divide by 4, that's going to go into it 4, 16, 44 times. So that is our width, okay? But notice we're actually not done with the problem. Have we answered the question? Did it ask us what the width is? No, it asks us to find the length. So what we need to do now is plug into our formula. We know that our width is 44 plus 4 more. That means 48. That's going to be our length. So it's 48 meters. And there's our answer. So the answer is 48.